Should you have multiple online brokerage accounts or should you just stick to one? In this video, I'll discuss the pros and cons of having multiple brokerage accounts versus having just one. Let's get straight into it. Well, firstly, there is nothing wrong with having multiple brokerage accounts. In Australia, you are free to sign up to as many brokerage accounts as you want. It won't somehow affect your credit score or borrowing capacity. There's no one secretly tracking you in the background or anything like that. But like most things, there are some advantages and disadvantages. The first advantage is cheap brokerage fees. Having multiple brokers means you can always use the one that has the cheapest fees at the time. In Australia, there are new brokers coming into the market every year, which is creating a lot of healthy competition between all the different brokers. This battle is pushing brokerage fees lower and lower. What is the cheapest fee this month may not be the cheapest fee next month. So you can take full advantage of this by using the broker that offers the best fees at the time. And some online brokers allow you to transfer your shares over to another broker if you ever want to consolidate all your shares together in the future. The second advantage is the new sign-up bonuses. So like I mentioned before, since there are many new brokers coming in, they are all competing for your business. Just like a new store giving out free discount vouchers to try their product, the same thing happens with online brokers. A lot of these new brokers are offering really good sign-up bonuses in hopes that you'll end up using their services in the long term. They are essentially burning money at the start with the hopes of acquiring a long-term customer. It's a classic business move. Competition is good for retail investors like you and me. You could take full advantage of some of these offers because quite frankly, some of them are ridiculous. You are basically guaranteed a few hundred dollars worth of shares just for signing up and depositing any amount, even one dollar. For example, Moomoo and Weeble have both been giving away crazy amounts of sign-up bonuses for the last year and they continue to do so. And the thing is, I've looked into both platforms and they are both really good legitimate investing apps that are very popular in the US and Asia. However, they know since they are entering into a new market, they need to offer an incentive for the local investors to sign up. They know we Aussies don't trust new products so easily. So to get our foot in the door, they offer some nice freebies. And I have personally signed up to both of them and I have received my free bonus shares. And now I'm using both apps to invest in US shares, so it's a win-win. Just remember, all these brokers are trying to undercut each other, so it's only good news for retail investors like you and me. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description to all the current best promos and sign-up bonus offers. You too can enjoy the free gifts while you can, and if you don't end up blocking the apps, then hey, you don't have to use them. The third advantage is more flexibility. Having multiple accounts gives you more options, in particular for tax purposes. For example, you think stock A will go up in the next six months and you plan to do a short-term trade. However, you already have some stock A in broker one. If you buy more and only plan to trade that parcel, it can become a tax nightmare to track your shares. Alternatively, you can buy stock A in broker two. Now you have the same shares, but the parcels will be split into two accounts. So if you sold one parcel, it's much easier to track the original cost basis for tax purposes. Also, if there's a time sensitive stock you wanna buy, but then you realize one app is currently down. Since you have multiple accounts, you have the option to use another app instead of waiting for the first app to come back online, after which the opportunity has passed. This has actually happened to me in the last few years, and it's super frustrating when you cannot enter your own account. This was during the whole GameStop AMC short squeeze saga, where I wanted to make a quick short-term trade based on the momentum. However, I found out one of my brokerage account was blocked, but since I had another account, I used that one to make my purchase, and I did end up making a small profit on that trade. Now admittedly, this is a rare example, but it can happen. Also, you have chess-sponsored brokers and non-chess-sponsored brokers. Chess-sponsored basically means you own the shares directly. However, with a chess-sponsored broker, you need to invest a minimum of $500 for any initial purchase of any stock listed on the ASX. This rule is known as the minimum marketable parcel, but you can avoid this rule entirely if you use a non-chess-sponsored broker. So although I recommend using a chess sponsored broker, it does give you different options if you have multiple brokers and one of them is not chess sponsored. Perhaps $500 is too much and you wanna invest in smaller amounts. You will at least have the option to do so. The first disadvantage is that it can be hard to track so many brokers. Another brokerage account is another password to remember. Sure, you could set them up all the same, but if one account gets compromised, you will need to change all the passwords again. Also during tax time, this can become a nightmare because you'll need to gather all the statements from multiple brokers to enter your correct tax information for any dividends or capital gains you receive during the year. Although these days, if you use MyTax, the software is quite intelligent and is able to pre-fill most of your tax obligations. Alternatively, you can use a third party like ShareSite to help you track all your stocks. The second disadvantage is that it creates mental friction. When you have too many choices, your mind sometimes gets overwhelmed and you don't end up doing what you are supposed to do. It's like having too many choices on Netflix and not being able to find the right movie for you to watch. The secret to investing is consistency. And the easiest way to stay consistent is to remove any friction and make it as easy as possible to do something. So if you're the type of person who gets easily overwhelmed, then having multiple brokers may not work for you because it may end up hindering you rather than helping you. So what should you do? Well, it depends on the type of person you are. For me personally, I'm pretty much signed up to all the online brokers and investing apps in Australia. Since I am a finance YouTuber who reviews online brokerage accounts, I feel like I'm doing a disservice to you guys if I don't try out every option for myself. That way, I can compare them myself and provide better review videos for you guys. But in terms of the ones I use on a regular basis, there is probably around three or four that I use. I normally just stick to the one with the lowest fees at the time. 
I currently hold different parcels of shares in about eight different accounts. Personally, I don't have a problem tracking so many accounts because I organize all of the apps into a single folder on my phone. I'm also a type of person that is not stressed by these things. No matter how many accounts I have, I always know exactly how much there is in each account. But you know yourself best. If you think you'll be overwhelmed by too many accounts, then just stick to a few or maybe even just one. It's all up to you. And like I mentioned before, you can always choose to consolidate all your shares into a single account if you want to in the future. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, then comment the word T-Rex down below so I know who you are. And if you are new around here, what are you waiting for, mate? Subscribe to the channel and join this wonderful community. And if you'd like to learn more about all the different brokers in Australia, then check out these videos on screen where I discuss all the most popular brokers in Australia and which one you should use. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.